our children are a totally different breed. We overcompensate, I think, because we say we want to give our mm. children what we didn't have, which is correct sometimes and sometimes very wrong. Because if it were a girl or even a boy, you want to say to your child, I want to give you everything here. You don't need to go out and find a blesser because you're a blessing mm. to this family as a girl. You're a blessing to this family and you don't need anybody outside to bless you. And obviously when it comes to boys, okay, all children, you want to give them everything that you didn't have. And uh, so they think money grows on trees. They don't think they have to work very hard or go an extra mm. mile because everything is it's there. Divided. Yeah, you know. And, uh, and when they see that life is not the, what they thought wa it was, they then, you know, go off the rail. And it does happen. Mm. It really does happen. I mean, not all of my boys are what I want them to be. I want my boys to be what they want to be. But I think every parent wants to see their children succeed mm. uh, and be more than what you are. You know, mom was a domestic worker and um, my eldest sister is a nurse, my middle sister is a teacher, and I'm just mashamblan, you know. <laughs> but I always say I corrected the wrongs that I did when I was young and I worked very hard for everything that I have. But things have really changed. I mean, the societies that we live in, uh, the um, uh, the peer pressure that our children have mm. as well. You know, I always told my children that if we go on holiday once or twice a year, it's okay. Don't look at the Joneses and the Petersons next door to say they go on holiday five times. It's okay. You don't know what mm. they do when Absolutely. we're sleeping. And you don't know how they generate mm. their money. So be happy and content with what you have. Mm. So I tell my children not to want to have things that they don't have. Mm. Yeah.